Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Heiblish, and I have the honor of being the executive director of the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. It is my privilege to welcome the Secretary of Defense and the Small Business Administrator to the Reagan Library today. We are truly in the heart of it. This room is where scholars who visit the library conduct their archival research on our 40th president. We are honored that the Department of Defense and the Small Business Administration chose the Reagan Library to announce their new joint initiative incorporating more small businesses into our national security ecosystem. It's an issue that the Reagan National Defense Forum has focused on for years. Work that led to our Reagan Institute launching a new program on the national security innovation base earlier this year. The innovation sparked by American business is the lifeblood of our national power. President Reagan knew that. He put it aptly when he said, I quote, small business is the gateway to opportunity for those who want a piece of the American dream. I am confident that thanks to initiatives like this, the spirit of the American entrepreneur will help keep America safe and prosperous. Thank you, Secretary Austin and Administrator Guzman for choosing the Reagan National Defense Forum to launch this critical endeavor. It is now my distinct pleasure to ask Administrator Guzman to say a few words. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate that. It's great to be uh, home. I'm from the La Crescenta Valley, so uh, it's good to just be in this beautiful mountainscape. But uh, yeah, I appreciate your leadership uh, at the Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. Uh, it's my honor to be joined by Secretary Austin. I greatly appreciate the DOD's partnership uh, to propel and support small businesses and entrepreneurship. And I also want to thank uh, Undersecretary Heidi Hsu, who's here, uh, as well as Jason Rothji, uh, as well. Oh, there he is. Um, and, you know, who have worked and partnered with my team, uh, including my associate administrator, who is here today, Bailey DeVries. Uh, she leads my uh, Office of Investment and Innovation. And she, alongside Jason, has been a critical architect of the initiative today. Uh, you know, I'm Isabella Casillas Guzman. As I said, I'm the 27th administrator of the SBA, and I've spent my life with small businesses and startups, starting from a family owned business when I was very young uh, to advising founders and starting my own businesses, and now serving as the voice of small business in the president's cabinet. And I'm proud to lead the SBA, uh, which has, uh, had, was founded over 70 years ago in the Eisenhower administration to ensure competition and innovation uh, in the U.S. economy through entrepreneurship, through small business. We are the federal agency that propels small business growth each year with over $40 billion in capital outlays, as well as connecting hundreds of thousands of small businesses to uh, technical assistance, resources, counseling, and growth opportunities through contracts and trade and digitization. Uh, we also scale when disasters happen to help individuals, businesses, and nonprofits profits, recover uh, from a natural disaster, or most, most recently COVID. Uh, and one of the less known but highly impactful and long-standing programs of the agency is the port portfolio of capital, both debt and equity investment, as well as innovation. Uh, we power, for example, the 11 agency Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program that provides about $4 billion in non-dilutive capital annually to seed, uh, as well as commercialize technology technology and scientific advancement. Uh, this is the cornerstone of our current and ongoing partnership with DOD uh, since it was founded over 40 years ago. And we also license and fund 300 small business investment companies, SBICs as we call them, which currently manage over $37 billion in both SBA, federal, as well as uh, private capital in the marketplace. And the program is the basis for the expansion of our partnership today. Our SBIC program was created 65 years ago 
uh, to fill what the Federal Reserve identified as a market gap. And this is leveraging federal and private capital to crowd investment into early stage companies so that they can scale and succeed in the marketplace. And over the decades, the SBIC program has continuously delivered on SBA's mission with investments that helped incubate and propel some of our most beloved brands and businesses in the world, including some of the first movers, Apple, Tesla, Intel, and many others. You know, and it has powered that the start, the scale, and success of critical technology verticals as well, such as semiconductors, which of course are at the heart of our nation's economic and military strength today. And under the Biden-Harris administration, we intend to do more, to strengthen this program, to propel innovation and production in this country. We know from experience that some of the biggest gaps in private investment do appear in capital intensive industries with those long development timelines. <clears throat> and which is why the SBA is transforming the SBIC program as it's known so that it can incentivize that patient uh, capital which is necessary in R&D, heavy industries including the, uh, the defense industry. And we've proposed a, a new government guaranteed financial instrument uh, in addition to our traditional debenture SBA uh, investment. We are going to uh, in implement this new instrument, which is an accrual SBIC, which basically is going to align with the cash flow needs uh, you know, of these industries that have long durations uh, on frontier, cutting edge technology. We know it's needed. And the federal government has provided a springboard like this many times in the past, delivering in capital and research funding to launch transformative innovation generation after generation. So today, I am proud to begin a new groundbreaking chapter of our long-standing partnership with the Department of Defense. And I'm especially grateful to be here today with the great leader uh, who I enjoy partnering with, who has dedicated his career to our nation's defense and who gets the need for small business and entrepreneurship to support economic prosperity for all. It was clear from the very first time I met him. He has a four-decade-long career in the Army with leadership and distinguished honors. You all know his incredible distinguished career, uh, but as well as valuable experience in private sector governance. And I would love you to welcome a leader with a giant impact in the president's cabinet as well. Thank you so much, Secretary Lloyd Arts. Asta. Yes, I know this microphone is adjusted for normal people, but I'm going to have to, to, have to make uh, an adjustment there. And Isabel, thanks so much uh, for that very kind introduction. Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome. It's great to see uh, three of my undersecretaries uh, joining us today. Heidi Hsu, who is uh, largely responsible for a lot of the energy that went into our efforts here to build a plant, kept us uh, uh, between a yellow line and a white line in the road there. And so Bill, thanks for everything you've done. And Gil, you do so much to make sure that we have the right people, the right talent lined up uh, uh, to support us. Uh, and I wanna thank the, the administrator for all that she does uh, to promote and support American small businesses. Uh, and I know that this work is personal to you, as you said. Uh, you are the daughter, daughter of a small business owner and you've been doing this for some time and it's great to have somebody with your experience, your heart, your dedication lined up against this very, very important effort. But under your leadership, SBA has distributed hundreds of billions as you pointed out, in financial relief, helping small businesses keep their doors open throughout the pandemic. You know, the Small Business Administration and the Department of Defense, as Isabel said, have worked together for decades to provide capital for small businesses. And cooperation with America's vibrant business sector has always helped us uh, to maintain endure our enduring technological edge, which is the foundation of our military edge. America's businesses, research institutions, and private capital providers have long worked shoulder to shoulder to tackle and, uh, tough problems and deliver uh, for our warfighters. Today, the Department of Defense depends on private capital to develop and commercialize uh, critical technologies for our troops. Unfortunately, private markets don't always have incentives to invest in these technologies, which often require longer term investments. And our friends in private capital cannot respond alone to major shifts like global supply chain disruptions. 
And so without access to capital for the time that it takes to develop key new technologies, those innovations could die on the vine or our competitors could get there first. So we're looking for new and creative approaches to sharpen our edge. And that's why earlier this week, I announced the creation of the department's Office of Strategic Capital. This important office will partner with the private sector to increase the amount of investment capital available to critical technology companies that otherwise wouldn't get the necessary resources. And so I'm delighted that OSC's first official activity will be a partnership with the Small Business Administration. And today, we're signing a declaration of intent to create the Small Business Investment Company Critical Technologies Initiative. And this is a major advancement in the relationship between DOD and SBA. It will allow our agencies to work together to build trusted investment funds to align and scale private capital in support of national security priorities. This will help secure, the fu secure funding for critical areas for national defense and ensure that our warfighters get the capabilities they need before they need them. As you heard uh, the administrator say, pioneering companies like Apple and Cray Research and Sun Microsystems all once benefited from early stage investments by funds supported by SBA's Small Business Investment Company Program. Now, working with SBA, the Office of Strategic Capital will have access to this powerful tool of innovation. And this partnership is the first of several new initiatives that will focus on investing in America's technological advantage. The department has a long and proud tradition of co uh, cooperation with the private sector. But you know, we can't take that for granted. So we're going to continue to find innovative ways to explore the next frontier of critical technology in the service of U.S. national security. And we can't do this without our friends and partners in the private sector and across the U.S. government, including the Small Business Administration. So thank you for all that you do to protect our troops and to keep this country safe. And I look forward to continuing this great partnership. So let's uh, get about the business of making this official. <laughs>